Hello, today we'll be going through practice questions 1 to 10 for the CompTIA Tech Plus exam. Let's begin. Which of the following is the most important consideration when opening a file on an OS GUI? The correct answer is A. File extension. The file extension is the most important consideration when opening a file in an OS GUI because it determines how the operating system handles the file and which program is used to open it. For example, .txt and .jpg are generally safe to open, while .exe or .bat can execute code, making them potentially risky. Recognizing the extension helps prevent accidental execution of harmful software and ensures the file is opened with the correct application. Why the other options are incorrect? B. Default permissions. These control who can access or modify the file, but they don't determine how the file is opened in the GUI. C. Backup policy. This is important for data protection, but it has no effect on whether or how a file opens in the GUI. D. Data compression. A file may be compressed, but the extension still tells the OS which application can decompress and open it. It's not the first consideration when opening a file. Therefore, the correct answer is A. Which of the following devices extends the range of a network? The correct answer is... D. Access point. An access point extends the range of a network by allowing wireless devices to connect to it. It acts as a bridge between wired and wireless networks, expanding coverage so that devices outside the main router's range can still access the network. Why the other options are incorrect? A. Modem. A modem connects a local network to the internet service provider but does not extend the internal network's range. B. Server. A server provides services or resources to clients on the network, but does not increase the network's range. C. Host firewall. A firewall filters traffic for security purposes. It does not expand or extend the network's coverage. Therefore, the correct answer is D. A user receives a notification about a new software vulnerability. Which of the following is the best way to secure the software? The correct answer is B. Applying updates. The best way to secure the software when a new vulnerability is discovered is to apply updates provided by the vendor. Updates are specifically released to fix security flaws and protect systems from exploits targeting the vulnerability. Why the other options are incorrect? A. Configuring a firewall. A firewall can help reduce exposure but does not fix the underlying vulnerability in the software itself. C. Enabling authentication. Authentication controls access but does not resolve the security flaw in the vulnerable software. D. Uninstalling the program. This removes the vulnerability entirely, but it also removes the functionality the user needs. It's not practical unless the software is unnecessary. Therefore, the correct answer is B. Which of the following is used to determine whether users accessed inappropriate online content? The correct answer is D. Web browser history. Web browser history is used to determine whether users accessed inappropriate online content because it records the websites visited. Reviewing this history shows the exact URLs and pages a user accessed. Why the other options are incorrect? A. System logs. System logs track events like logins, errors, and system activity but don't usually record specific websites visited. B. Cookie data. Cookies store session information, preferences, or tracking data for websites, but do not provide a clear record of all sites visited. C. Location tracking. This only shows the physical location of the user or device, not the websites they accessed. Therefore, the correct answer is D. A company updates its password policy to require that all passwords be reset every 60 days. Which of the following best describes this requirement? The correct answer is C. Password expiration. This requirement is best described as password expiration because it enforces a rule that passwords must be changed after a set period of time. Why the other options are incorrect? A. Password complexity. This relates to rules about how strong a password must be, not how often it changes. B. Password management. This is a broader concept that covers policies, tools, and practices for handling passwords, not specifically time-based resets. D. Password privacy. 
This refers to keeping passwords secret and not sharing them, not enforcing regular resets. Therefore, the correct answer is C. Which of the following encryption types protects data at rest? The correct answer is A. File level. File level encryption protects data at rest because it encrypts the contents of files stored on the disk so that unauthorized users cannot read them without the proper key. This ensures confidentiality even if the storage media is stolen or accessed directly. Why the other options are incorrect? B. VPN. A VPN protects data in transit across networks, not data stored on the disk. C. HTTPS. HTTPS encrypts data transmitted between a web browser and server, again protecting data in transit, not at rest. D. Plain text. Plain text means the data is unencrypted and readable, offering no protection at all. Therefore, the correct answer is A. Which of the following is the smallest storage unit? The correct answer is C. Kilobyte. A kilobyte is the smallest storage unit among the options given. Storage units scale upward from kilobyte, megabyte, gigabyte, terabyte, and petabyte. Why the other options are incorrect? A. Petabyte. This is much larger, equal to about 1000 terabytes. B. Terabyte. This is larger than a megabyte and kilobyte, equal to about 1000 gigabytes. D. Megabyte. This is larger than a kilobyte, equal to about 1000 kilobytes. Therefore, the correct answer is C. A user lives in a remote area that does not have cabling or towers available. The user wants to connect to the internet. Which of the following is the best solution? The correct answer is D. Satellite. Satellite internet is the best solution for users in remote areas without access to cabling or cellular towers. It provides connectivity via satellites in orbit, making it accessible almost anywhere on Earth. Why the other options are incorrect? A. Fiber optic. This requires underground or aerial cabling, which is not available in remote areas. B. DSL. This depends on telephone lines, which may not exist in rural or isolated locations. C. Cellular. This needs coverage from nearby towers, which the scenario specifically says is unavailable. Therefore, the correct answer is D. Which of the following display types is bidirectional? The correct answer is D. USB-C USB-C is bidirectional because it can both send and receive video, audio, data, and power over the same connection. This allows devices like laptops, monitors, and docking stations to communicate in both directions. Why the other options are incorrect? A. DisplayPort This is primarily unidirectional for video and audio output. Though it supports daisy chaining monitors, it doesn't handle bidirectional data like USB C. B. VGA. This is an older analog standard, strictly unidirectional. It only sends video from source to display. C. DVI. DVI, also unidirectional, only sends video from source to display. Therefore, the correct answer is D. A user needs to read documentation on a device while walking around outdoors in bright sunlight. Which of the following is the best type of device for this purpose? The correct answer is C. E-reader An e-reader is the best device for reading documentation outdoors in bright sunlight because its e-ink display is designed to be highly readable under direct light without glare, unlike LCD or OLED screens. Why the other options are incorrect? A. Laptop Laptop screens are often difficult to read in bright sunlight due to glare and reflections. B. Tablet. Tablets use LCD or OLED displays, which wash out in strong sunlight and strain the eyes outdoors. D. Smartphone. Smartphones have similar display issues to tablets, harder to read under direct sunlight and less suitable for extended reading. Therefore, the correct answer is C. We have come to the end of today's video. If you liked the video, please make sure to like and subscribe. Goodbye.